Katamara from Greece. This video today is actually a day one of the 15 Days to Freedom blog challenge by Natalie Sisson. She gave a topic and the topic was uh, daily success routine. So being that we are full-time international house sitters and we're pretty much in a new climate, uh, let alone new country and environment, culture, uh, and also with different pets pretty much every four to six weeks. Uh, now we've been a little bit more kind of routine orientated here in Greece. Uh, we've actually, had, well, by the time we leave, it'll be three months here, but we break that up with two and a half weeks at another property as well. So we had to change our routine again. So one thing that I've actually struggled with a lot over the years is when different uh, business coaches and amazing ones such as Natalie Sisson uh, really brings home the power of having a good routine, a great way to start the day. I mean, I've got my little things that I do and I know I could do a lot more for myself as well. Uh, so I look forward to changing that or becoming more regular with, with uh, some personal taking care of myself. But what happens as a house sitter is that we find that we're taking care of the pets, meaning we have to fit into their routines. So something that I found really works for me, instead of beating myself up about not maintaining a, a specific exercise routine, say first thing in the morning, is I'm getting my exercise, a little bit of meditation, and just a lot of sense of fulfillment and beingness um, by adapting to the pets' routines. So let's start right here in Greece. We've got all these different pets here. Uh, we actually have chickens. So we need to go and open up the chicken coop because as you can see, the sun's just coming up now as well. So we need to let the chooks out. Uh, we've got a parrot, a one-winged macaw parrot. We've got a couple of cats and a dog. So let's go do their routine today. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit more about just how important it's been for us to be flexible and adaptable. And um, we'd love to hear what you've got to say. So let's go get the birds. Okay, so here's Public, <laughs> here's our boy. We'll be giving him some food in a minute, but right now we're going into the garage to go and get Tadu, the one-winged macaw parrot. Hello, Mary Tadu. Oh, we should have got you some apples, sweetheart, shouldn't we, to take you up. Do you want to go up and see the chickens? Hey, we're going to go and see the chickens this morning? Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's here today. <laughs> she loves getting up high, so she gets a good view and she kind of looks down on her chickens. <laughs> so even being um, adaptable in the pets routines, I don't bring her up here all the time because it's too windy, it's not pleasant. So we're bringing her up today because it's a beautiful day. <laughs> she actually loves seeing the chickens, let's go. So what I'd like to do is just pop her up on the fence so she can see there we go and before we let the chooks out there they all are hiding in there <laughs> you just put down some scraps and that scratch and feed here chook 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 are you ready there we go <laughs> So the chickens have been an absolutely amazing lesson for us because this is the second time we've looked after chickens, first time we've looked after so many, but they have such a routine, they're incredible. So here in Greece at the moment, the sun's coming out relatively late, so somewhere between 7.30 and 8 a.m. We get up, we let them out, we feed them. And then in the afternoon, we have a four o'clock feed of just some scratch food, and then we close them up when they go to bed. But they go to bed themselves. They actually all walk back into the coop, get on their perches, and they're all there for sunset. So they're a great, great teacher in having routine. But all of the pets that we look after, you know, they have their routine. One of the reasons why house sitters are coming in to look after them while their owners are away is to maintain that routine, have them feeling most at home. So next thing we've got to do here now is go off and feed the dog and the cats and, of course, give Tadu a little bit of fruit as well. She loves that. So if ever you get the opportunity to house sit with chickens, I highly recommend it. They are hilarious. They've all got their own little personalities. They're really funny. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's great to see that routine because it creates your routine. And I don't know, I think like other than laying in bed and having my sort of however many minutes to myself in kind of, you know, clearing the mind or at least seeing what my day is going to look like, 
Uh, I love the fact that I need to get up and walk the dog or feed the chickens up. Like by walking up this hill here, I'm getting my first morning exercise by fitting into the routine of whoever it is that we're looking after. So it's heaps of fun. House sitting is amazing for Nat and my personality. This sort of constant change keeps us creative. It keeps us on our toes and it keeps us I guess even more inspired and interested in by life rather than having a set routine day in, day out. I don't know that works for some, but it doesn't work for me. So something that uh, we identified pretty early and that's why house sitting works so well for us and being on the move all the time. Anyway, we'd love to hear what your routine is, uh, particularly if you've had any really unusual ones, if you've house sat before. Uh, so leave a comment and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next blog day challenge, which is tomorrow. <laughs> The girl. Look at her being pranced around. Pranced around. She's pranced around. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful, isn't she, girl? Yes. Such a climber. <laughs> oh no, where are you off to? Come on!